My name is Philipp Heidbauer and I'm one of the team members and pilots at the Flying Bulls. This weekend and during the UK tour, I'm piloting the Douglas DC-6. DC-6 as were built in the 40s and 50s. The big innovation during those days was the pressurized cabin. Now with the pressurized cabin, you were able to fly above 10,000 feet. So the DC-6 was rated up to 25,000 feet, which just gives you a more endurance, better range, and you had the ability to fly above most of the weather phenomena that you had to conquer with when you went across the Atlantic. Our DC-6 um, was the second last one that ran off the assembly line in 1958 in Santa Monica, California. It was delivered to Yugoslavia and flew there as a state aircraft for Marshal Tito until the mid-70s and then it went to Africa, again as a state aircraft. There we found it, we brought it to Salzburg, where there were between 70 and 80 people working full-time on it for three and a half years. We completely disassembled the aircraft, made everything brand new that was meant to be new again, put it all back together, and now it's an uh, aircraft of the 40s and 50s in the best shape that you could find. There's a little bit more than 700 DC-6s that were ever built. It's just ours that's still allowed to carry passengers. And in most modern aircraft, they are just two crew members operating the whole ship. The DC-6 is a little bit more complex in the use of its system. So it's mandatory and a requirement to have at least one flight engineer taking care of all the aircraft system. He does all the power settings. He's taking care of all cooling flaps, which you need for the cylinders, the cylinder temperatures, the oil coolers, and all that things. And as pilot non-flying, um, you're responsible in doing the ready navigation and the ready communication, assisting all the others. The flight engineer is eventually the guy who knows most about the aircraft. It's a complex aircraft to fly, so you need to have two guys working on troubleshooting, while the other one is still able to just be concentrated on flying. DC-6s were built in the 40s and 50s. The big innovation during those days was the pressurized cabin. 